For today's vlog, I'm going to show you around George Street and the beautiful laneways it has to offer. Um, particularly this Angel Place that I'm walking right now. Angel Place is just a brief walk from Meyer, QVB, and the Strand. So whenever you're coming to visit Sydney, be sure to not miss seeing the empty bird cages in Angel Place. It is one of the most well-kept secret in um, among the locals in Sydney, and it's one of the most Instagrammable and beautiful artworks that I have seen. And this artwork is called Forgotten Songs and was designed by Michael Thomasio. And as you stand underneath the bird cages, you can hear the sounds of the birds that once inhabited Sydney before the city built up to what it is today. Now we are lining up outside to buy our books from Dymox Bookstore. It is Australia's greatest bookstore and it goes back to 1879 when young William Dymock commenced business as a bookseller. So that's what you're getting. So when everybody else is buying Louis Vuitton, we are buying books. We are now walking towards Queen Victoria Building, or as abbreviated as QVB. It is a heritage-listed late 19th century building designed by the architect George McRae. It is a Romanesque revival building and was constructed between 1893 and 1898. It is designed as a marketplace and it was used for a variety of purposes. The dominant feature of the building is the central dome which consists of an anterior glass dome and a copper sheeted exterior. It has stained glass windows including a cartwheel window depicting the arms of the city of Sydney. Allows light into the central area and the roof itself incorporates arched skylights. Now I'm taking you to Hobby Co. It is the place to be when you want to buy everything that involves toys. Any kind of toy that you can think of, they have it all. From puzzles, to family games, board games, Legos, 
and a whole lot more. So we were planning to buy a puzzle, specifically a 1000 pieces puzzle because we want to challenge ourselves and we are, and we are trying to find ways to enjoy staying at home while not getting bored. And what a better way to do it than to solve a puzzle together. We will now try to do this puzzle and hopefully in just three days we will be able to finish it. Okay, so as you can see we are starting on the edges so that it's going to be easier for us to build the puzzle from the outside to the inside. Somewhere along building this puzzle, we were on the verge of quitting because some parts of the puzzle are really challenging to, to piece together. So, um, especially the colors yellow and blue because there's a lot of it. And as they say, two heads are better than one. So when the other is a little bit tired of doing the puzzle, the other one jumps in to build the pieces on the color or the part where the other is having trouble with. So we chose this puzzle because not only it challenges us to build it because of the number of pieces, but also this is one of the most iconic landscapes in Australia. And we have been to that place, which is the 12 Apostles in Melbourne. So what a better way to have a memento of that place and it's so breathtaking and it's the view is really second to none. Love come down. Sometimes I get really annoyed if I tried all of the pieces um, to fit that one part of the puzzle but I can't, it seems that I can't really find any piece that fits. So um, what about you? Do you feel any frustrations when you are building a puzzle? Let me know in the comments. What I can see with your big fans. Yours too. Thanks again for watching this video, hope you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe and like my YouTube channel and see you on the next video!